In 1936, Nusenda Credit Union was founded with the simple idea of people helping people. Today, we're proud to be the largest credit union in New Mexico. And now we are excited to be opening our doors at our new branch located at 1715 East University. When you become a member at Nusenda Credit Union, you're joining a financial institution that is dedicated to improving your financial well-being and supporting Las Cruces and Southern New Mexico. That's the power of we in action. It's another new episode of Student Athlete Spotlight. We are presented by Nusenda Credit Union. Adam Young with women's basketball sophomore guard Molly Kaiser here today. Molly, thanks for joining us. How was your off season? Um, my offense, was, my off season was pretty good. Um, I think um, I was able to get a lot of work in the gym just from different coaches, different trainers, and just to get a different look at the game, not only physically but mentally as well. So I think, yeah, it was a pretty good off season to lead me uh, coming into this season to just be ready. You mentioned working in the gym. Brooke Atkinson has always said when she peaks in the gym, you're in there. Is that kind of your home away from home? Yeah, it, it really is. I think like the just being in the gym and just working on my craft kind of just gives me like gets me mentally right. Right? And it's not always about like physical or just like more so of like, oh, I need to work on this for my game, but just being in a in a decent headspace and just feeling like more at home. I feel like that's like you said, a home away from home. So it's just where I'm comfortable at. So that's that's where I really love to be and just to uh, find different ways to just involve my game. You really came onto the scene last year in the second half of the season. That final month was really, really good for you. What elevated your play in the final month? Um, I think it just came with tr trust in the process. That's what I mainly always say is like, you know, I started off very low. You know, I was a, I was a freshman coming in. It was something different, like coming off of COVID year, my body had to adjust mentally. I had to uh, adjust from just being away from home. So I had, was like facing a lot of changes and a lot of challenges. And it was really just continuing to be in the gym, working on my game, um, taking as much leadership and just coaching as I could from my coaches, my teammates, and just trusting the process and just continuing to like stay true to myself and not really run away from that despite what was going on or uh, playing time or of that sort. So I think that's what really got me over the edge. On the floor, how hard is that transition going from the high school game to this high level division one college game? Um, it's very different. Uh, first of all, like the, the pace is a lot different, you know, and when I say pace is not all about going fast or it's not like about going slow. It's like knowing when to change your pace, knowing how to lead your team, especially as a point guard being at this uh, division level, you're the coach on the floor. So it's like you have to know how to lead your team. You you not only thinking about your your position, but you have to make sure everybody's in the right spot. So I think it's a lot, but I mean, with the right coaches and just like your teammates being there for you, uh, it's a pretty, you know what I'm saying? It's easy for you to be able to uh, transition and just become better. The way you played in the final month of last season, did that give you confidence going into the off season? Yes, it, it definitely did. Um, it just kind of, it made me realize that all the hard work that I put in and if I continue to, to do that and continue to build on that, then, then there's more success uh, that's ahead of me. So I think it just kind of, gave me like a, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? You could do this. This is what you're capable of. I started to see the potential that everybody was seeing in me for me to continue to, to grow and not only grow as a player, but also as a leader for this team. Looking ahead of this season, goals, expectations, what are you looking forward to this season? Um, one, my biggest thing right now is just to be more consistent, not just like with me, but even if I'm not scoring the ball, but just being a great teammate. That's uh, one of my main focus, being able to help my teammate when they're down, being able to uh, bring them up and just being a leader. I think that's one of my biggest thing right now uh, is to be, I know I'm very young, mm -hmm. but like just to be a leader or a voice uh, on this team, because I think um, the more you talk to your teammates, the game becomes easier for you when you're on the same page with your teammate. Your teammates look look at you, you look for them. So I think it just makes everything a lot easier through adversity, even if it's a hard practice or a hard game. If you have your teammates, then you know what I'm saying? You can, you can really get through whatever. So I think that's one of my main focus, being consistent and just trying to be the best leader that I can for this team in however way I can. Lastly, Molly, you're from Watauga, Texas. Right, yeah. Did you always want to play Division I basketball? Was this always the dream for you? Yes, this has always been my dream since I was a kid. Like, I started off, I didn't even know a thing about basketball. I didn't know how to play. Uh, all I knew was soccer. So it was like a different transition. You're going from shooting the ball to kicking the ball. Like, so I think, um, but once I finally, like, started working on basketball, it was just kind of like my safe haven. So, like, I always dreamed, you know, 
college basketball. That was always the goal. And then, you know, go professional, WNBA. So, like, I've just kind of, it's, it's like, to this day, it's kind of still crazy, you know? I come from where I come from, and it's like, to be in this position and have the opportunities that I have, like, I just feel blessed and just to be able to do the things that I'm doing. To one day, you know, be able to help my family, it's like, it's truly a blessing just to even be, be here sitting here with you or just being able to play basketball, you know, at this level. Molly, thanks so much. Best of luck this season. Thank you so much. That's Molly Kaiser, <laughs> women's basketball sophomore guard. This has been Student Athlete Spotlight presented by New Senda Credit Union.